Hello everybody, my name is Benji and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. Now this should be video number two or at the very least video number one of a crisp 60 FPS, which I'm sure you guys are going to be super thankful for. Uh, my CPU usage for OBS as a result of this, because this is the first one I'm recording, but it's the second one that's going to come out to you, so woo! Um, my CPU usage is like double, <laughs> possibly a little more than double of what it uh, used to be. Um, but that's okay. That's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Totally worth it because I'm pretty sure this game runs at that. Where would it be? It would be in graphics. Yeah, uh, this game is at 60 FPS. Um, so now this is at 60 FPS. My recording software is at 60 FPS and my editing software is at 60 FPS. So that's nice and crisp for you guys. Now, at the end of last episode, we were way off that way exploring the ruins of somebody else's base, and while that's all well and good, we have a little bit of maintenance that we need to be doing around here. Now, everything in this whole area is kind of locked right now, like the biomass screen is a little bit far off. The heater tier 4 is probably the next closest thing, either that or the drill tier 4, kind of depends on our rates of production here. And then the gas extractor is way off. And then everything in here is also super far off, like the beehive, food grower tier 2, the tree spreader, they're all really, really far out of here, and they're not something that we have access to. In addition to that, we're running a little bit low on algae and some of our food resources, primarily our eggplants due to our fertilizer production, and that's just not good. That's just not good. It's just not. It's just not good. So we have a decent power supply. We can always make more nuclear reactor tier twos at this point as well, which is quite nice. And all of our food growers are just kind of growing food. We do have our new biodome tier two making us tree bark that I have to remember to come up and grab every now and then. That way it doesn't start to, you know, degress and, and not give us things. So that's something we have to keep an eye on. But in all actuality, there's not much for us to do except wait for different things to unlock. I, I mean, we have a decent amount of every building. Uh, we could always add more, but that just seems tedious when there are other things that we can do at this moment in time. Now, there's nothing that we can do that I'm aware of over in that direction. However, there is one thing that I have been teasing for a couple of episodes now, which corresponds to a couple of weeks at this point, and that is the ring. I keep saying we'll get to the ring, the ring will have its own episode, the ring is going to be cool, and I think it is finally time for us to go and explore the ring. So I'm going to grab myself my normal three iron and two titanium that we need to get infinite oxygen wherever we go. Uh, and also our one silica. I always forget about the silica. Whenever I'm talking about it, at least I always remember to grab it. Usually I end up forgetting like an iron or something. But today is finally going to be the ring. The ring is one of the most important wrecks, at least as far as I remember. But then there's also a whole lot of stuff that has changed that I don't know about. So we're just kind of going to have to end up seeing. Also, yes, here is the ring. The ring does have water around it, which is kind of cool. I actually do think that's that's quite neat. So here it is in all of its glory. Now, my hypothesis is that the ring was a space station. But not just any space station, a space station that was somehow capable of interstellar or intergalactic teleportation, just judging by the technology here. I don't know if that's ever confirmed at all, but I do think that this was, at one point in time, some kind of a phase gate. Some kind of something that's like a teleportation something or other, you know? That's, that's just how I'm of it here. 
So going into the belly of the beast, obviously we're going to have a whole lot of these guys. And I'd like to just clear them as I go, in all honesty, even if that means that I have to do some jump cuts and things, it won't matter to you guys because the music is going to stay steady. It's the whole point of me having an editing software. Look like anything there. This ship slash space station slash something or other is, is quite large. See, but I can't get I can't get that one. That's annoying. Oh. It also apparently fills with water on the inside. That that's something that I did not remember happening. Um huh. emptied my inventory. We're keeping. Just more crates under the water here. As of you. I don't know what exactly I just deconstructed, but I apparently deconstructed some all. So that's interesting. Over here. And else over there. I can't get to that crate, which is actually rather annoying. Heater tier 2. It's going to give us iridium, so that's it. And there's a way this way. Ooh, lore, lore, lore. We're going this way. We're going to the lore. And a blueprint microchip. I love the blueprint microchips. Those are amazing. Another fusion reactor, of which we will not be able to do any quite some time. And here we go. Today was the inauguration of the space warp gate. I was right. It took two years to build it, and finally we would be able to easily cross the Ezekiel Prime Sector. But just after we turned on the main power reactor, everything went wrong. The power immediately went down, all the reactors and stabilizers broke, and within a few minutes and the spaceships uh, was inexplicably drawn to the closest planet. We tried everything to fix it, but it seems there's nothing we can do. All the crew has escaped in the escape pods. I sent a distress signal. I'm going to my pod now too. What a waste. All these months of work are going to be lost. I can't understand what's happening. This should not have happened. So, in some way, shape, and or form, something drained the power of this vessel. Ship, spaceship, warp gate, whatever. Something, some way, somehow, ended up being able to drain it of all of its power and then draw it toward the planet because whenever something is in orbit it has velocity it does not require energy to stay in orbit I mean, technically it does because you have to maintain your velocity which requires energy but on a technical aspect, you don't need constant energy input to stay in orbit around a planet. So if it were to just, you know, plummet toward the planet, the second that this was all drained, something was like tractor beaming it down here in addition to draining it entirely, which is quite interesting. To think about what would have drained it why would it have started plummeting toward the planet what sort of things are are causing this to happen all very good very interesting questions that are gonna have to be addressed at a later time because honestly that's it <laughs> that's all we can do right now uh, for the ring. I technically could have just explored this like any other wreck. I, I'm sorry, I honestly remember it being a lot more important than that. Um, I'm quite sad at the fact that it is it is not more important than that, if I'm being honest. But at the end of the day, that's alright. I think what we're gonna do at this point then, since we still haven't unlocked anything else, is I'm gonna go exploring off camera 
and whenever I find something that's interesting and that you guys have not seen, I'm gonna bring you back in and we'll take a look at it together. So give me a hot second. I'm gonna do that. Also, look how beautiful and green the moss is. It's almost like grass, but that's later. So yeah, I'm just kind of gonna pop around, do my own thing for a bit. And when I find something of importance, you'll be the first to know. See you in a second. Oh yeah, we got a blueprint microchip. So I have to do the, the blueprint microchip first. Boom. Agility Boots Tier 3. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. That's going to make my life so much easier running around. All right, now we'll be back. I lied again. Pretend that didn't happen. There's two more blueprint microchips in that chest. So we're we're gonna do we're gonna do both of those. Fence. And a jetpack tier two. Again, I'm so glad I did that, because now we get a jetpack upgrade, and we also get an agility boot upgrade. I guarantee the jetpack and the agility boots are both in here. No, just the jetpack is. Super easy crafting recipe, plus 170 propulsion. It's and 45% movement speed for tier two. Very nice. Okay, last time, I promise, even if I find something else. All right, so remember last episode when we found this thing? And I was like, it's a pain in the butt to navigate, so we're not gonna navigate it right now. Yeah, well, you know what? It's, it's time to navigate it. Or maybe it wasn't last episode. Maybe it was the episode before last episode. I don't really remember, honestly, being completely honest. But when you go in here, this was obviously some kind of a, like, cargo shipping thing. Because it's got a whole bunch of, like, cargo shipping places. Oh, Deacon Rex off. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll get plenty of iron. There. I'm sure I'll get plenty of iron from deconstructing things, but there are a bunch of heater tier threes in here, which is gonna just give me a ton of iridium rods. And I'm gonna 100% make sure that I have enough storage space for all of the goodies on this one, uh, because there's gonna be a whole lot of them in this place. There's gonna be a ton of goodies here. Because it was literally a thing that's just shipping high-value cargo. Like, look at this. This is a satellite. That's awesome. Fertilizer. Ready? Turn. I'll take. Yeah, there, there's literally two satellites in there. I don't know why they're not packaged like they should be. Like, they're they're unfolded. I don't quite know why that is. Weapons, there's gun turrets. Uh, I don't really know what of all of this will be worth it. I just know most of that won't be. So we're just gonna leave it. Now then, how the heck would I get back up? Ah, see. See, more, more satellites just kind of chilling. Completely unfolded. Definitely not smart to keep them that way. They're very they're very fragile instrument. Some tier two solar panels, not bad, not bad. This stuff is all oh I won't. That stuff is all garbage. There's the iron. Hold on to the iron for a little bit longer. Ooh, secret thing. Oh, jack hot. And a blueprint microchip? Yes, please don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Back here. Another, aha. Trying to hide from me. Can't hide your bean seeds from me. Awesome. And again, more gun turrets. So these guys were just suppliers of even more gun turrets right here. Things. These guys had to have been suppliers of some kind. Some kind of just big old 
trading, shipping, something or other. So that's pretty neat overall. Look at all the stuff that I have to figure out what to take with me. The iridium's not that important. I'd much rather have the bean seeds. Uh, fabric's more important than the sulfur. Is the sulfur more important than the 200% seed? No, but it is less important than the 400% seed. Cool. And then there is nothing behind here by the look of things. I think there's like a little parkour bit actually. So I might I might come back and try to do that. At least it certainly looks like platforming. It could just be the shape of the rocks. And then there was also some stuff that was farther this direction. This way. Yeah, that way there's stuff. So I have more stuff to come back to. One moment. Hold, please. Peter Tier 4, talk about timing, huh? I'm almost back. So we have things that we can upgrade at the end of this episode. Or possibly next episode. Kind of depends at this point how long it takes me to keep doing all these things. Ooh, they take an, they take an explosive powder each. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that. We have tons of iridium rods. We have literally like 18 iridium rods. It's ridiculous. So I'm not worried about that. I am worried about the the explosive powder cost though. So where does it start? Or is it just the geometry? I feel like it might honestly just be the geometry. Like the level geometry? Yeah, because half of this is stuff that I'm not even supposed to be climbing on. By the look of it. But it looks so... Parkour enticing. Yeah, like, look at this. This looks like it's meant to be parkour -ed. Maybe it is in the future, because this looks like a cave entrance that's blocked by current level geometry. Nope, well, I just phased through the map, so. I guess that proves that point, that we're not exactly supposed to be up there. I need oxygen. <laughs> Alright, um... Oxygen, first and foremost. I'm not gonna grab anything, because I don't think there's a close to worthwhile here. Not really. Iridium we have by the bucket load, sulfur is not a problem. So off we go this direction now. It's very much deserty up here in comparison to some of the more green areas on the map now, like our home base and all that kind of stuff. There is a cave. It is melted. It's the melting degree here. It starts melting at 45. I add 45? Osmium Sulfur Cave. Oh, if I'm at 45. Uh, micro -cal. There's a lot to this cave, it seems. Nothing there. Sulfur. About this way. More ice. Starts at 45. Can I Skyrim horse in here? Can. And can I Skyrim horse back? I can, which means Pulsar Quartz is on the menu, boys. Good stuff. So Pulsar Quartz is a rather late game material. Here's a location for it and a way to get here. For anybody that's confused uh, by that. And I have no idea whether or not we're actually gonna be able to use Pulsar Quartz as of yet. Uh, I don't actually think we're, we're gonna be able to for a while, but this does mean that Pulsar Quartz is something that we're meant to have obtained at this point in time. Or at least that, that we can obtain it. It's not like this is 
cheating. That's a glitch. Uh, nothing good there. I'm just going deeper into the cave, and we're through. What the heck? Why is it all... Oh my gosh, why? Why is it all cloudy? I know where this is. This is the giant iridium crater that was in the caves and crater update. But why is it so cloudy? I don't like. I don't like how cloudy it is. Give me one more piece of titanium, please. Thanks. Why is it so cloudy here? This, this should not be. It's just a sea of cloud. All right. All right, I'm gonna do something that might be frowned upon. I'm gonna save right here, and then we're gonna go down and see if the fog clears as we go. Not really, no. Yeah, not not really. I mean, it's cleared down here at the bottom, but now we can't see our way up at all. It's just emptiness. And then inside the actual iridium meteorite ball, is there anything new here? Or is this all just kind of the same as it's always been ever since did it? There's iridium there. Ooh. Was that an iridium rod? It was. A bunch of them. I guess the inside of the meteor just kind of has iridium rods on it. It doesn't matter because I'm going to load, but still. You can't see anything. I have no idea how to get back up to where we were, so it's a good thing we're saving and reloading here. This is craziness. What in the world? Apparently this is a starting location too, so if this is a starting location, I would not be able to make content. Because <laughs> you just can't see. Alright, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Exit to main menu, don't save. Now reload. And that reloads us back up at the top. Wow. All right, so let's see about this cave then, because I know this cave does some things for us. And then there's also this way. We are starting to get a little long here. So I guess I'm just gonna show this off and then go back to that other cave. And then we're gonna end off here because we're starting to get a bit long. So yeah, this is this area. There's the zeolite area, there's the whole area underneath of us, and there's a new wreck area over there. So now that we've seen that, let me head back here to this little cave, and then we'll explore that and be done for the day. There it is. I can't believe how foggy it is in there. How does that clear up? What stage does that go away? That's nuts. Aluminum. These are big old zeolite crystals. And this is the zeolite cave. However, there's no water. And I see no zeolite. That's quite odd. Because there is zeolite in the other zeolite biome, but there is none here. But now what is this? Oh! I didn't even realize there was an entrance to this cave here. Okay, so that's new. That takes us back out to the top of the sandfall. And then that way I know for a fact is blocked off in the Osmium Cave. That's odd. That's all very odd. 
This is a good thumbnail, though, so I'm going to stick around here. And that is going to be it for today. So we're going to go on ahead and pick up with the heater tier 4 and some more progress on the next episode. But for now, that is going to be everything. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, das vidania, evidizien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves a life fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video is in the bag, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.